Hello. There was something I wanted to talk more about. It's, you know, cooking and everything with Dad. It's like he's, he cooks. I'll give him that. But I'm talking about how in my day, yeah, I'm going back in my day, and when I was growing up, how the kitchen was more than just a place to cook food. It was basically a meeting area, a place to gossip, a place to give advice, a place to get counseling. It was more than just a place to cook food. And it was a classroom because I learned how to make food. And it wasn't because I was a girl. It was because, honestly, I never saw it like that. I learned, I like this food. I want to learn how to make it again for myself and for my future. I learned also about preparing my personal kitchen, not just my kitchen because I plan to take care of a family or anything. No, my kitchen in general, like what utensils I needed, what spoons did what, how you prepare meat, how you do everything. It was, it was so much a, of a learning experience for me. And I like I said, I subtly said, but I do miss the fact that I didn't get to make, to learn how to make foods from both my grandmothers because to this day, that was my biggest regret because I did mention one time to my grandmother that I wanted to learn how to make her beach cobbler and she said, well, one day I'll show you. And I sort of kind of blew it off because I was a teenage girl and I was like, I don't want to learn how to cook. And to this day, I regret that I didn't do that because she made phenomenal peach cobbler and even if I made it once in my life I would have liked to have that knowledge in my head and my other grandma like I said she used to make rum punch I just wanted to watch her make it one time I don't drink but just to have the knowledge of how she used to do it because she used to spend hours and she was very detailed and very organized at how she made it and I just love that. I guess that's also why I love watching movies where they show... There are movies where there are people making food and they show people actually making food in the movies, like Water for Chocolate. That's one of those movies. I could watch it over and over again because I just loved watching how things were made and just the atmosphere of that kitchen because you can feel... The love, the knowledge, the education, the generations just telling you how to make it and just showing you how to make it. And it was, it was a wonderful time in my life when they were around and they were cooking. Because I remember, I can still picture it in my head, how my one aunt used to make um, pudding and souse. Now... I didn't know how to make pudding, but I, I remember how she used to prepare like onions and scallions and how she used to cut it so fine and how like she would spend like just cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. And I remember watching it and just the smell of the scallions and everything. I mean, it was... I just used to watch her and I loved it. That and when my grandmother used to make black cake. Now back in the day, black cake used to be like our wedding cake. Whenever a family member got married, they would have the traditional wedding cake and then there would be a black cake. And the reason it's black is because rum was like submerged in it to the point that it was basically black. So if you, and then they would have the sugar icing on top and it was a magical cake. I didn't have it for my wedding and I missed that, but that's one of our traditions. That and the bracelet, this one. Everybody in my family has one. We just, it's our thing. So I just wanted to share a little bit more about my family and the importance of cooking and just the magic of if you get a chance and you're allowed to learn from
from your family about cooking and recipes, grab it while you can. You never know. I was fortunate that after my grandma died, somebody found her recipe for the rum punch and they passed it around. I still have it in my computer somewhere, but I kept it. But I wish you were back. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll find something else to talk about. Like I said, whatever you can learn, learn. You never know.